this should be a pop-off episode. I think that the conclusion of the battle with Caster is going to happen today, but who's... Oh, sorry. Who's going to solve it? It's definitely not Ryder. It's definitely not Lancer. Based on what Kirisuke was saying, we need an... Not an anti-person, not an anti-army. We need like an anti, like, fortitude structure. Noble Phantasm. Saber has that shit, but... Her... Isn't it sealed? Like, I'm not sure if we can use it without that right now, but we'll see how that goes. Kiritsuko also assassinates Ryunosuke, and I felt kind of bad. It, it's weird, because Ryunosuke and Caster, we know they've done heinous acts of evil. Yet, and let's not get, our, let's not get ourselves twisted, like Kiritsuko as, as well, but something about Kiritsuko, sorry, Ryunosuke and Caster, them vibing and getting along, and all the fucking crazy conversations they have about faith, and how they trust each other, and showing them cool. It kind of got me, so I'm like, oh man, there goes Ryunosuke, but <laughs> honestly, it's better that he's dead. Kiritsuko also mentions that he's gonna do something. He's gonna find the new master of Lancer. Probably gonna assassinate, release the seal on Saber. Kiritsuko's doing something behind the scenes. Kadia versus Tokiomi, that was also a very interesting clash. A difference in philosophy of how Tokiomi still believes what he did was the right thing and that he did this for Sakura, but which is insane because we're not mages at the end of the day, right? They are and they live in a totally different society. Archer and Berserker, like Archer, Gilgamesh is on his fucking UFO table and just moving around and that battle was fun too, but today's episode should be pretty hype. Let's begin today's reaction. Nothing. He can't do shit. Kiritsugu might be able to do something though. And these two are just still wasting time fucking fighting each other with airplanes. Oh, oh. Taria might just die. That's it? That's all we can do? Just throw insects at him and he's got like a barrier that doesn't Ugh, this is sad. But Kire is also here. I'm not sure what he's planning, but Kire is here. Yeah, there he is. Just watching. Oh. Rider Clutch? The favor hasn't returned. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too, ID. ID knows. ID knows what to do. ID, assassinate Lancer right now. I don't think she can, but it's that fucking seal on our arm, bro. That golden spear, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's nerfed. How? Y'all been just slashing these tentacles and regenerating over and over again. We're literally wasting time. Oh? Ryder got a plan? Noble Phantasm. <笑>なるほど。あんなデカブツを取り込むとなれば、君が持つのはせいぜい数分が限度。その間にどうにレタチを。いろはあ、プラン。ライトプラン。ワッツ<笑> You'll be my vision. Alright, airplane battle still. Did he just leave? Wait, what was that? Did he just go home? 
I don't know. Is is is, is the is the battle over? It seems like it. He he, said, he went a different direction. Oh, a lot of people are gathering. That's not that's not good. Yo, you guys are all livestock. What are you doing here? Get out of here. Oh boy. All right, Noble Phantasm. Berserker is descending. Airplane, airplane battle is not over yet. Actually, suicide ball? Nope. That is gonna go in. Nice maneuver. And they continue their pointless fucking fight. Like, straight up, this airplane fight is so fucking stupid in terms of like what it's achieving. But it is really cool to see. It is pure eye candy. This is all you got, Kadia? Kadia's gonna die at this rate. Oh, oh. Yo, Kire, help Kadia out. Kirei wouldn't. Now, the only reason Kirei might is if he's figured out his own... Like, think about this. What, was, what happened last time between Kirei and Gilgamesh? More talks about the desires, more talks about pleasure, what entertainment is. <laughs> and Kirei has got the command spells back. But he doesn't have a servant. And Gilgamesh almost was like, yo, you just gotta find yourself a servant now. It's, and it's just like, perhaps, you know? So, like, if we think about him that way, Kirei backstabbing to Tokyompi for Gilgamesh, I think, does make sense. Is he waiting for this opportunity? Wait, that's a, that's a gift? Your, your gift is die an intensive fiery death? <laughs> How is this a gift? If it was like a merciful peaceful death, then I'd be like, thank you. But your incantation is literally die an intensive fiery death. <laughs> no, Kadia, no. <laughs> Damn. It really wasn't even that close, huh? Like, the difference in the quality of magicians, man, it is... Literally, he just, he just stood there, put a barrier up. The bugs didn't do shit. Then was like, incantation. And he's just done. Kadia! Is that it? Now, until I actually see him die, I'm not gonna believe it. He could somehow drop into a pile of water and survive this. I'm not sure, but that might be the end of Kadia. It could be. That was a pitiful fight. It wasn't even a fight. Exactly. We don't have an answer. Lancer's arm. Lan Lancer's seal. Oh, oh, oh. Phone call. Kiritsugu has plans? Yo, Kiritsugu. No. Waiver. Huh? Okay. Release it at a point location. Where? Where are we dropping it? Okay. Within a hundred meters? Okay. But what's the answer though after that positioning? Oh? This is the thing, right? The seal on the left arm is preventing the anti fortress structure. Nope. Noble Phantasm. We need an attack that can just disintegrate it in one blow. Will Lancer do it? Night Chivalry. It's a promise. You can seal my arm back afterwards. Why not? What? 
あんたにこたつてがあった排除ホーグだとかなんとか。うん。どうなのか。セイバー。キャスターのあの怪物を。うん。一撃で仕留めうるもの。We've been fucking around the entire time。可能だろう。ランサー。我が剣の重さは誇りの重さだ。あなたと戦った結果。あ、shut the fuck up with your nice chivalry, bro. Get that shit out of here. Are you serious? You're gonna use this knight's pride, knight chivalry right now to justify why like people potentially dying and stuff is fine? Like, get that shit out of here! Oh my god, it's a blunder. Ryder is right. She is just a little delusional child. Okay. You gonna break it? No, it's neither. You need to save the people right now. Let's go, dear mood. I thought that it was like a toggle, not having to break your weapon. And now, Lancer without a weapon. You, you only have one spear now. That's, that's quite a setback. Damn. All according to plan from Kiritsugu. She got her left thumb back. It's just funny to me because the explanations of what that curse does is like prevent the left thumb from working. But now that her thumb is working, like this can happen. As if she couldn't fucking just put the sword up. Before and charge some attack. I know it's not just a thumb, right? It's like a seal on the left arm, but damn, man. Excalibur! Oh. The legendary sword. What? Berserker? Uh oh. Now, Berserker and Saber seem to have some sort of connection, right? And I think again, something happened in the Knights of the Round Table arc in FGO that I can't remember. I think there was a tragedy there. Something went wrong. There was a guy, and I think who this Berserker guy is, I just can't remember. But may maybe that person is like referring to. Remember when Ryder and Saber were having that conversation, the Skrill dialogue? At that point, Saber mentioned something about her pa past at the Knights of the Round Table and how, like, the knights, a specific knight might have had some guilt, doubts, I'm not sure, but maybe th this is like relating to that character. So, if I look at you, I'm a Zashu. If I look away, Amazashu, you will not be pleased one way or the other. There's nothing I can do. Oh! What the hell was that? What the- What? Some sort of- I don't know, some sort of attacks that got Gilgamesh off guard! Not Gilgamesh's UFO! Karia. Kirei, Karia. Oh shit. He's not dead yet. Wait, 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 he might finish him though. <laughs> Yo, Kirei, come on. Kirei, I want you to, to like save Karia by like backstabbing Tokyo and we're taking Gilgamesh away, but <laughs> this is the way it's gonna go down. <laughs> That's right. Berserker conversation. Huh? He's like stimulating his body with mana? I'm not sure exactly what's happening. I was like, yo, is Kirei about to like resuscitate Karia somehow with mana? But 
he might also just be ha having fun just torturing as an executor. I don't know, he's smiling. It's a devious smile he has now, so maybe he's just being cruel. Kiritsugu. Uh oh, Caster's coming back. Oh, they can come out early? Tell him. Gilgamesh, where are you at, bro? Oh, Lancer? So then, can we assume that Berserker has won the aerial duel against Gilgamesh? I, I guess so. Wait, what? Wait, what? You can just do that? He just turned into spirit mode. But he just appeared here as if there's like a teleportation. Like what? The movement? You can just do that shit? Okay. Wow. Listen, guys. You can say that Lancer is fast, but this is beyond fast. The motherfucker is on an airplane on the sky. On the sky. He just literally transported bro what do you, mean? you can't just say he's fast <laughs> what do you what do you mean he just forded onto a fucking airplane in the sky come on now <laughs> nice lancer the gatling gun <laughs> What were those weapons? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that Gilgamesh's weapons? Sick random sickles. Random weapons seemingly out of nowhere. I don't think this is Lancer. I think this is Gilgamesh, right? I thought it, I thought he was done after this UFO blew up. Flare time. Rider now. But like, I wonder why it's that location specific. Maybe because this is the part of DC where the relative like distance everywhere else is equidistant, meaning it's in the most center of the sea, therefore the most further away from like people. Therefore, like you can noble phantasm it and no one will die. I think that's the idea. It's like a meteor. New soundtrack. Oh shit, it's a boss theme. Even Gilgamesh is interested. Alright. Excalibur time. So what is this shit? Like, sacred resources? Like, literally SAO. Sacred resources, everything is just charging up this fucking spirit bomb sword, sword attack. Mm. Oh lord. Tokyuma is witnessing it too. It's like the fireworks, man. Everyone wants to see it. Even Kiritsugu. Yo, Aidi, holy shit, the glaze right now, the lower glaze of Excalibur and Saber right now from Aidi? This is giving me goosebumps. Let's go. Let's go. One shot? Caster! Jean's coming for you, Caster. My holy version. Oh. Damn. The attack was so strong, it sent into a fucking flashback. Now this is the real Jean. Life is flashing before his eyes, bro. Jean. 
Saber face. <gasps> oh, that's actually a really nice ending for Caster. Yeah. Have I? Have I what? What do, what does that mean? Have I what have I done? This was the brilliance that blessed John and me with joy and bliss. What have I... What is this supposed to hint at? Is this caster realizing his fault at the end for chasing the wrong thing? And that the real John is different? Like, is this the realization? Or is he further di diving into the delusion that Saber was indeed John and this light is proof of that? I'm not sure. Damn. And does that mean Saber and... Does that mean that... Because like we got the final hidden. So is Risei going to give us those rewards? Command spells. Gilgamesh is pretty interested. Was that good enough? Hmm. Yeah, he denounced her as a king, right? After their little debate, but... Might is might. What do you think about this? Huh. Alright, no, no, no. Ryder is firm. Ryder is still very firm. He doesn't care about the power that he just saw. What he's saying right here about the people's light, right? The light comes from her having taken all her people's hopes upon herself. But it should have been the other way around, remember. Ryder's not convinced, man. Still very firm on the belief that this is a delusional little child just living the worst life, the opposite of everything that like Ryder believe believes in. But to Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh found her funny because she was struggling, but now with this new power, what do you think? It's tragic? That's what's beautiful? <laughs> bro wishes he was there to harvest the tears to add it to his treasure collection, bro. He just wants to see Saber cry and struggle. Oh, no, I don't think Gilgamesh would end them here. He has his pride. You may flee. Damn, damn, bro. You may flee, King of Conquerors. Now, Gilgamesh, he's too arrogant. He doesn't care, like, what, right now? Me taking it easy when you're tired versus you later at full strength? Doesn't matter. To me, I'll win regardless, so you may flee. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, he got provoked there. Ryder is right. The whole Berserker thing, too. Berserker did win the clash between the airplane fights. <laughs> Damn, the timing. Oh? Saber is worthy? Maybe? That's, that's so interesting how Gilgamesh is so down for Saber's cause as long as it's her downfall and he wants to witness everything and bear fruit to, to it. It's just content for him. <laughs> That was Gilgamesh, right? It was. Golden brilliance. And that is today's episode of Fate Zero. A triumphant episode indeed. Excalibur is that strong. Not anti-army, not anti, you know, uh, people. It's just like anti-fortress, bro. This thing is on another level. <laughs> I wonder if anyone could survive a hit from this. Like, it seems so fucking strong. But now... Lancer has released a seal because his chivalry goes beyond, beyond just their duels, right? We need to save everyone here. So Lancer has released that. Hibitsuku is probably happy as fuck. And Lancer's pretty much nerfed now. You know, Kanith is not really there anymore. Solawi, I don't think, is the same kind of master 
as Kaneth. Lancer doesn't have the Golden Spear anymore, and now what? I don't know. Kadia is pretty much done too. I don't know exactly what Kirei was doing to Kadia in the streets. Was he just humoring himself while, while torturing Kadia? Was he infusing him with mana and letting him live? I, I don't know. This is kind of interesting. Let them cook, man. Berserker also, I think, won the fight in the uh, aerial du duel that they had. I don't know exactly what happened there, but a bunch of like pink traces were shown during the aerial fight. And Gilgamesh wasn't able to like comprehend what that was and just got blue and blown up. But, you know, Gilgamesh did show up at the very end and just kind of taken out Berserker too. So, I still give Berserker that W. Now, looking like they're kind of setting up. Actually, Caster. Did Caster get his closure? Maybe? It was kind of... Interesting, the lights, Jean, and his dialogue at the end. What have I? I don't know. What have I? I is that supposed to? Is that supposed to mean that he has like reached Nirvana, like enlightenment, and has realized in full? Is it like further into his delusions, accepting that Saber is Jean, or maybe the other way around? I'm not sure. But there goes Ryunosuke. There goes Caster. And since we stroke, you struck it down. We should be the one getting the command spells, right? From Rise. Now. Ryder, Gilgamesh, maybe that's set up for the future. Kadia, again, just kind of gone for now. Lancer, Saber, they're probably going to have a rematch, but I don't think it's going to be even close this time. Everything's going to be very interesting moving forward as the amount of contestants go down, but that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, <laughs> take care.